using your hands, building not buying, and the general principles of engineering. These are some of the things I want my kids to understand. Not through a book, but earned through shop time. Here's how to do it. Have them measure and remember those numbers. What number is that? Six. What do you think, Penny? I'll be turning six. 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 <laughs> I feel like this helps them link why a six is important and why we measured in the first place. All right, and then is it right on the line of the six? Yep. Now push this red handle down. When the green light is on, that means we never get close to this, okay? Because that'll turn it on. Make sure they each get a turn. Both kids get to fill two holes. I'm gonna put a little on there. If there were three holes, drill another one. No need risking a breakdown. Have fun in embracing the dirty. You're gonna get dirty if you're in the shop. That's all right. Yeah. They can get dirty, but their environment shouldn't. See all these tools that we have around us? We need to put stuff away so it's not too crazy over here. Stop frequently to force putting away tools. Not only is there less things for them to cut a knee on as they're on top of the workbench, but we're driving home the lesson that everything has its place and should live there more often than it's being used. Hopefully this translates into how they approach their playroom. Now... Time for lunch yet? <laughs> no, it's not time for lunch yet. Every moment is a potential teaching moment. I right, said so this is a router table. Come look over here. But don't ramble on things they certainly won't care about. Get to the action quickly. Add color wherever you can. How do you make purple? Ooh, uh, red and blue. Correct. The green pattern and natural tones of hardwoods are the most visually appealing to an adult, but to them, pink and green polka dots are the sh**. The backer board to this piece is perfect for them to run wild with the whole color spectrum. You want purple also? Bonus tip, wear junky clothes in the shop. This is Penny's side, this is Lily's side. Their instinct is to wipe hands on the nearest cloth surface. Let me give you some paper towels. On top of that, it's always good to have paper towels nearer to your kids than you are. Why? Is that why? No, no. Mm -hmm. Let them make a design decision, but weight it in your favor. These are both walnut, but... Like if you really wanted pizza, you ask your roommate if they want pepperoni or cheese, rather than do you want pizza or a cheeseburger. So you pick which one, uh, you want. one. Which one do you want, Penny? We want that one. That yeah. one too? They feel like they have a choice, but you're cooking the books towards an outcome you want anyway. Let's look at it from the side. When there's an operation they aren't suited for yet, like the jointer. You see how it's cupped? We gotta fix that. Make sure you explain what's happening in that step and why you're doing it. This side is a little bit lower than this side. You wanna feel it now? The planer is too loud and doesn't show any clear results. Don't even try to have them do it until they're older than five. Take breaks often. Their attention span is microscopic in the view of the whole project. <laughs> And for that same reason, make the project small. I wouldn't recommend working with them start to finish on a six drawer buffet cabinet. Start with something handheld and complete it in half a day or less. Get them in close on the action. Put them up on the workbench and not tippy toe in to see what's going on. No, it's not quite lunch time. <laughs> For safety reasons, get a step stool and raise them up to tool operating height rather than trying to hold them up near a spinning blade. I put my hand over theirs so it can't move and hold back their other hand from reaching in. I am in complete control of the workpiece and they're just a passenger with a dummy steering wheel. Make the consequential cuts an illusion. We have to cut the word mom out of this walnut, but I drew a red line way on the outside that they're meant to follow. Focus and calm, that's perfect. Then they can play while you finish the precise stuff. Remember, lots of breaks. It's not quite lunchtime. I wanna get lunchy. Dada, is it almost lunchtime? It's 10-10, so not quite lunchtime. All right, blow it off. Let's do it together. Okay, birthday cake style. Although sometimes they can help out in second-guessing your consequential decisions. 
Okay, so this is a jigsaw. See the blade? Watch, it goes back and forth like this, ready? I think it's a good idea, let's we'll see. What is always a good idea is keeping them safe. If they get hurt out in the shop at this age, it could be years before they ever want to come back again. Oh, where's your shoes? Oh, can, can you get them please? Plus the wife would destroy me. Okay. Luckily they think putting on PPE is fun. Though, I don't know if Fisher Price passes for OSHA standards. Hand holds right, holds this down, right there, and you're only sanding right here. One big bonus is that they seem to love sanding. I'll keep fostering that love so I can pass that duty off to them in the future. Yes, of course, you can have a piece of tape here. You want a big piece? Okay. To see this tape? Yes. That's showing me how deep to drill a hole. Daddy, me need more tape. You need more tape. I need more tape. You need some too? Two tapes. Two tapes? Okay. That one's dirty? Okay. Now, sometimes we have to do things that we're afraid of. If you always only let them steady the ladder or hold the flashlight, you aren't growing your interns into experienced employees. My kids are pretty scared of sparks. I don't make her stand in the spark spray, but just put her hand on the tool while I make the cut. Baby steps, you know. All these little pieces we pick up with pliers. Good job. When it comes to the finesse of finish, go with something wipe on and wipe off so they can't even mess it up if they tried. Plus they look hilarious with adult size latex gloves on. What? What is that? Yeah. It's called Osmo. Uh, <laughs> Osmo. Osmo. Is it time for lunch? Yes, it is time for lunch now. Make sure they personalize it so they can look back on their product and selfishly so you can protect your namesake from any lapses in craftsmanship. P. E. Lastly, any kid project should include some hammering. Kids love hammering. I get it. Hammering is awesome. Yup. High fives. Pop. Pop. We'll give that to mom tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs>